transport of food and other substances. How are the products of photosynthesis transported from leaves to other parts of the plant? The transport of soluble products of photosynthesis is called translocation and it occurs in the part of the vascular tissue known as fluin. Besides the products of photosynthesis, the phloem transports amino acids and other substances. These substances are especially delivered to the storage organs of roots, fruits, seeds, and to growing organs. The translocation of food and other substances takes place in the sieve tubes. Sieve tubes are one of the constituents of the phloem, which act as pipeline from leaves to the other parts of the plant. With the help of companion cells, both in upward and downward directions. The translocation by phloem is achieved by utilizing energy. Materials like sucrose is transferred into phloem tissue using energy from ATP. Leaves transports the sugar to the phloem through active transport. The phloem is adjacent to the xylem, which carries the plant's water. This close proximity of phloem and xylem is very important over here. Movement of sugar into phloem increases the osmotic pressure in the tissue causing water move into it. The active transportation of sugar into the phloem result in the passive movement of water from the xylem where sugar concentrations are low into the phloem where sugar concentrations are high. This passive movement of water dilutes the solute which is known as diffusion. This diffusion of water into the phloem creates an area of high pressure in the region surrounding a sugar source. This pressure moves the material in the phloem to tissues which have less pressure. As a result food within the phloem is driven away from the sugar source. This allows the phloem to move material according to the plant's needs. For example, in the spring, sugar stored en root or stem tissue would be transported to the buds, which need energy to grow. 